everybody, I'm Terry Rice, a creative specialist for the Foundry. Today, let's take a look at a tool that's going to change workflows for cleaning and paint work, the Smart Vector Tool Set. The Smart Vector Tool is a powerful tool that can really help speed up the painting process. It can be used in a huge variety of situations from paint and clean up to beauty work and in other ways too. Let's take a look at this example from the Power Rangers short film provided by Ingenuity Engine. Looking at the shot, we can see that it's handheld, there's rapid motion, and one of the actors jumps out of frame. Now if we take a little bit of a closer look, we have the situation where the outfit has some damage to it. The white pattern should be closed off, but the fabric has come apart in the center here. So we need to clean this up, and normally we might use several trackers, maybe a planner tracker along with some grid warps to try and clean this all out. So let's take a look at what the smart vectors could do in this situation. So the first thing we want to do with the Smart Vector node is give it a path to write out the vectors. It's going to want EXRs, and once we plug that path in, we begin to look at our next attribute. The Vector Detail slider is going to control the quality of our vectors that are generated. The default of 0.3 will work with low detail and movement, but looking at our plate, we can see we're going to have to increase this. The plate has a lot of texture overall. Uh, the costume has a lot of detail. There's some folds. It's in the sun and shadows. We want to improve our vector output, so I'll put this to the maximum of 1, and then we can render them out. Now, once we bring those vectors back in, we can go ahead and examine them through our channels here. Although this may look a little confusing or foreign, you can make out what's happening here against our plate. There's our actors and our other actor. And you can make out things like the rock. So the vector generation for the smart vectors gave us a very nice high accurate result. Now the next thing we want to do is create a clean frame for this. Our best bet of creating a clean frame is around frame 1006. So let's go ahead and see this result. So once I have that, I can grab the vectors and create a vector distort node. Now the vector distort is going to work hand in hand with the smart vectors. We can see an input asking for them. It's also looking for an input to be distorted. Now that's our clean frame. If we look at some of the attributes here, we have reference frame. We painted our clean frame at frame 1006, so that's going to be our reference. The frame distance is a key attribute that we need to adjust. Keeping a frame distance of zero will calculate vectors for every frame. If we begin to increase this, there'll be frame interpolation for vectors spread throughout the shot. It's a good idea to try different distances to see what's working best for your shot because every shot's so unique. If we have a shot like ours, uh, it's very quick, there's rapid motion, we want to keep this down to zero or at least as close to it as possible. If this shot was much longer and had slower motion, we can increase this all the way up to six. If we look at the result, we can see the vector distort is pushing our pixels throughout the frame using the smart vectors. The smart vectors were analyzing the pixel movement of every frame, and that's what's getting us this result. Next, we'll do some cleanup. We can see our vectors are being whisked away near the top here. Now we could create another vector distort with different frame distances and blend its result, but this is a quick fix with the roto. Let's add some color correction as well. We can see that the actor starts off in a brighter area and then jumps into a more shadowy spot. So we'll animate a color corrector over time to help them fit in. Now that we have an output, we can render this to disk. We can play it through and let it cache, but I have a pre-rendered version over here. So we were able to reduce our paintwork down to a single frame without tracking. We let the smart vectors and the smart distort do all the work to quickly get a result. This is quite an exciting tool that can be used in so many different situations while really drastically reducing that paintwork. This is one of those tools where it's going to be so exciting and fun to see what people come up with when they show off the results, so can't wait for that.